Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Um, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some um, miscellaneous unnamed fragments of the Mandeans. And the Mandeans were a one of the oldest Gnostic sects out of Iraq, I believe. Um, they believe uh, it's believed that they have ties to uh, John the Baptist. And here, I'll leave this PDF in the description box below. But here are some miscellaneous fragments of their writings. And these writings are absolutely beautiful, absolutely revelatory. And um, they are truly precious. And, um, and you can find these online, but they're only featured in this book, which I got in the mail. Um, they're, they're quite obscure. So we're going to take a look at one and talk about it. Now here we are in a small Mandean fragment called the soul and its coat of all colors. Now right off the bat we should be thinking about Joseph and indeed um, this gets us into the revelation of Joseph's coat of many colors. Assuming we could properly decipher um, this small little fragment, this small little poem, this Mandean prayer. Now, of course, this prayer is open for interpretation, but um, I'm just going to share the way I read the text um, and with, with our knowledge of the Gnosis truth of our faith. And, um, but before I get into that, I, I do want to share the gospel with you, that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. You cannot make any way to the Father without um, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. He will seal you with the Holy Spirit for the remission of sins. We must repent, guys. It is a gospel of repentance. It is not a gospel of hyper-grace telling us what we want to hear. We must repent of our sins. We must walk away from the ways of this world and put on His grace so then we can become perfect. And be sealed until that day of redemption. So, here we are. In this small, miscellaneous, very rare Mandean fragment. And it's really interesting how it can actually give us revelation into Joseph's coat of many colors. So let's take a read. Let's read it and uh, we'll talk about it. The soul. The soul speaks. Who cast me into the tibble, the earth? Who cast me into the tibble, the earth? Who chained me in the wall? Who cast me in the stocks, which matches the fullness of the world? Who threw a chain around me that is without measure? Who clothed me in a coat of all colors and kinds? This is a very profound fragment, guys, if you could decipher it. So what is this fragment talking about? Well... It's really talking about the picture you see on your screen. It's Simon carrying the cross for Jesus. You see, the Gnosis or spiritual truth of our faith is that it wasn't really Jesus who died on the cross. It was his flesh self. But his spiritual self was rejoicing and dancing. It was really Simon who hung on the cross for him. Simon meaning the rock. And that means to stand firm, to be persistent in all trials and tribulations, etc. To be unmoved and be unweathered throughout time. So it was really Simon that they hung on the cross. And Jesus really was dancing as, and his resurrected self rejoicing as his flesh was being hung on that cross. You see, this is the Gnosis mystery of our faith. This is what the enemy doesn't understand who is, who is called to steal, kill, and destroy us. To, you know, we, we are not afraid of those who um, kill our fleshly bodies, but we should be afraid of he who could kill the body and the soul in hell. Right? Because this is really what this fragment is getting into. In our scourges and our... And our lashes and, our, and the trials and tribulations that we spiritually suffer on this earth 
for no fault of our own, just because of the way God has ordained our soul, because we are children of the light, so the children of the darkness are going to scourge us. We're going to be persecuted. So what does the Bible say? Rejoice and be exceedingly glad when people persecute you, for great will be your reward in heaven. And this is what this fragment is really talking about. It's a, the, Our time in this earth is all a battle for our soul. If you're enduring persecution, it's because who your soul is. You have an immortal soul. And those who do not have necessarily an immortal soul um, and have forsaken the Lord, the Holy Spirit spark born within us all, Well, they persecute us, they scourge us, they chain us down. The world is nothing but a trap. The world is nothing but chains of darkness. The world is nothing but a prison. But it's this prison which is really boundless paradise. Because it's through our scourgings that the almond bud flourishes and is our resurrection right. It's our resurrection power. It's the reflecting light of our glorified light bodies. It's Joseph's coat of many colors. So the really beautiful line here I think is right in the middle. Who cast me in the stocks which matches the fullness of the world. The slavery in the prison of this world matches the endless and boundless redemption of the world to come. I pray this blesses you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Shabbat Shalom.